Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the process of updating the firmware for your Fitbit Sense. So this morning I got a notification on my Fitbit app dashboard that a firmware update is available for my Sense. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Update Tracker. And here it's telling me set up your Sense. This process can take over 20 minutes to complete. Make sure to keep Sense charging and near your phone until the update is done. So my sense actually has uh, quite a bit of battery at the moment, be 91%. So I'm not going to worry about charging it, but if you have a lower battery, you might want to go ahead and put it on the charger. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. So it is searching for my Fitbit sense and you will need to have Bluetooth on your phone enabled for this to work. And it looks like it says it's updating my Fitbit Sense now. Hold tight, this can take over 20 minutes. Please keep this page open until complete. So I guess they don't want you to use your phone in the meantime. And we do have a new um, animation, if you will, on the display of the Fitbit Sense. It is showing on the top the current battery. And this looks like a progress circle, which I'm assuming will fill in around the circle as it continues to install this new firmware update. And it looks like we also here on Android have a little progress bar on the bottom of the screen. And the good news is I do see some small incremental movements here on both the progress circle on the Fitbit Sense display as well as the progress bar on my Fitbit app. So this is basically just the waiting game. Can't do anything else besides be patient and wait. Um, it looks like the screen has turned off on my sense. I don't know if that's just to save some battery or more likely it's probably doing some sort of a restart or something to update the firmware. And I'm sure we'll see a indication of that again. I guess I could double tap and see if... Oh, okay. So I guess it, the screen just went blank to say battery, my guess is. So if you want to check on the progress, you can just double tap on your Fitbit Sense's screen. Now the interesting thing here is the progress bar on the Sense looks like it's about a quarter of the way through the circle, whereas the progress bar on the app seems to be about halfway through. So. I'll be curious to know what happens once we get further along this process. If those progress bars are showing the same process or if there's a second step on the app or something. So if you've seen any of my other uh, Fitbit especially videos, you'll know I like to do these videos in real time because I like to show you the exact real time experience of installing these firmware updates, which can, as they note in the app, take a considerable amount of time. Hopefully yours won't take much longer than mine, but it all depends on the strength of your Wi-Fi. If you have an older phone with older, weaker Bluetooth, that kind of thing, those could all take extra time compared to what I'm showing you here today. I'm going to go ahead and wake up my display again, just so we can kind of keep tabs on these progress bars, which again, it looks like this progress bar on the app might be a step one. Yeah. Okay. So as I was just saying that it looked like the progress bar on the app may be finished. So that was probably a download is my guess. And now it is actually installing the firmware update onto the Fitbit Sense. So we now no longer have a progress bar in the app, but we do still have this progress circle on the Fitbit Sense. And we have eaten through around 1% of battery life, so I don't think this will be a problem in my particular case. But again, if you are running low on battery, probably a good idea to get your charger out in case this does um, take longer than <laughs> you would like and your battery runs out. So. so from what I've heard, this first major update for the Fitbit Sense 
should have, oh, interesting, it didn't work on double tap there, so. Anyway, I'll let us do his thing and talk to you some more. Um, I think what comes in the update are, if you have Fitbit Premium, there is now a separate SPO2 app, which doesn't actually show up on your watch, but is in the background, and allows you to be able to track your blood oxygen level if you wear your Fitbit to sleep. And I believe it will show your historical nightly average in your health metrics dashboard if you have Fitbit Premium. Um, so I'm actually perfectly, personally, I mean, looking forward to that because I do not remember to change the clock face and I don't like their current clock faces for the SPO2 feature. So I just kind of haven't been using it. I also don't really find the range that useful. Not 100% sure if it's accurate because it seems kind of low. Uh, but it would be nice to be able to just automatically capture a nightly average and be able to look at my history over time to see if there are any glaring changes, things like that. So that's probably the thing I'm personally most looking forward to uh, as someone who actually just started her six month premium trial that came for free with the Fitbit Sense. I just created a video for that. If you want to check that out in the upper right hand corner or in the description below, I'll link that video where I activated my free six month trial for the Fitbit Sense for Fitbit Premium. Otherwise, some other new features are, in the United States at least, there should be um, the ability to set up Google Assistant now. I believe it does not have any audio alerts, but you will, in the United States, be able to use Google Assistant. Um, I'm, I've heard that Amazon Alexa now has audio replies, so that'll be interesting to try out. Nothing else, like alarms still don't have audio, things like that. Um, phone calls don't have audio, but I think with this update you are supposed to be able to take phone calls from your wrist using the built-in microphone and speaker. So that'll be something interesting to try out. I do not believe that you can make phone calls from your wrist only if you get a phone call you can tap to speak through your watch to answer it. And I think those were the things I can remember from this update. Again, Fitbit is doing these kind of on country level basis, so all I know is things for the United States, and I've heard that Google Assistant might not be available outside the United States yet, so uh, don't blame the messenger, but <laughs> that is something to know in case Google Assistant doesn't work for you after this update. And it looks like here on this progress circle on the census display, we are maybe 93%, let's say. <laughs> of the way there and any moment I would guess we're going to get that progress circle completed and once that's done don't know if there'll be any kind of onboarding showing what's new but that would be nice and I'll probably Install the SPO2 app to show you how to do that just in case you have Fitbit Premium and want to take advantage of that app. Again, if you don't have Premium, you still will need to use one of the SPO2 clock faces to get your nightly average and range of SPO2 during your sleep. It only tracks it during your sleep, and without Premium, you don't get any historical um, saved data that you can look at later. Even if you have premium, you cannot see your nightly range unless you use one of the SPO2 clock faces. So that's kind of annoying also. Supposedly there's going to be a total of seven SPO2 clock faces out by the end of the year. I've seen three of them now. Still not really. I personally don't like any of the three, so we'll see. 
And again, just a disclaimer that in case you are watching this video months after I uploaded it, this information is up to date as of the date this video was published. And we do have a green circle here on our Fitbit Senses display. And I'm guessing it'll take a moment to have the watch talk back to the app to let the app know that, hey, I'm done. All right, got a little vibration. Okay, and the clock face is back. Yeah, someone, I noticed someone mentioned before that the fonts are different. That's hopefully not permanent, but it might be. I did prefer the other font. Okay, so it's saying syncing in progress, so I'm not sure what exactly it's needing to sync, but it's syncing something. And there we go, it says all set, your sense is up to date. So I'll go ahead and tap done here. And here you can verify you have the latest update. If it said 44, 128, 4, 15. So as of November 25th-ish, that is the most recent firmware version. It will obviously be different if you're doing this months or year from now. And let me see, it looks like there's a new tab here for voice assistant. And I wanna check on apps real quick. And I'm gonna see here if it has, okay, so it did automatically seem to install the SPO2 tracker. I'll just tap on that for a moment. So, once you install the SPO2 service app, Wear your Fitbit device to sleep. After you wake up, go to the Fitbit app and sync your Fitbit device to see your SPO2 data. Tap on the Health Metrics tab. Please note that after you successfully install this app, it will not appear on your Fitbit device. The app will run in the background. So it's not gonna show up in any of these apps here. Okay, so you're not gonna see SPO2 in this area. This app will not show your SPO2 value on your Fitbit device. To see an on wrist SPO2 value, please select one of the clock faces from the SPO2 category in the clock face gallery. All right, so I guess it already installed that, so that's good. I'll go back and back again, and let's just check out this voice assistant tab. And here we go, at least in the United States, it now shows that you can have Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa, although you can only have one voice assistant active at a time. Feel free to switch between them whenever you like. So I'll probably do another set of videos showing you how to set up Google Assistant, another video showing you how to set up Amazon Alexa, and of course, kind of how to use both of them. So if you're interested in those videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up below as it really helps this video and my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video.